Okie dokie. Episode four. Trigger of condemnation. Condemnation. Trigger my condemnation. <laughs> What's wrong, Kaname? He's like, I feel like the theme music is starting. <laughs> Did you not hear the theme music? Um, one of our lovely subscribers and frequent commenters um, sent me a fic recommendation. Um, it's a Wattpad fic. I'm sorry if this is your Wattpad fic. Um, it's a Vampire Night Diabolical Lovers crossover. Oh, you have to send this shit to me, dude. I did send it to you. You did? Yeah, but it was a while ago. Oh, well, I probably didn't click on it because I was busy with some other garbage. Yeah, yeah. Um, I read one Vampire Night fic, I think 100 years ago. And it was about, I guess, it was like Yuki didn't exist. And then... Zero was a prostitute that kept getting hired by Kaname. They were like, this is the best shot in the episode. Make sure mm-hmm. we present the opening thing. I don't remember what's in this episode. I don't either. But we'll find out. I'm sure we'll remember it. But yeah, in that fic, I haven't gotten very far into it. I've only read like eight chapters or something like that. And they're really short. Yeah. Um, I really want Ayato to like beat Kaname's ass. <laughs> could be so good. Ayato could like eat this man. Oh, I'm He's just way more feral. How was Yuki's blood? How, How was Yuki's blood. blood. She has special blood. What's happening to Yuki's hair? I wish her blood made them go like Rainbow Road mode. (laughs) That'd be so good. What? Zero was bitten by a vampire? Wait, she cleaned him (laughs) up after he was bitten. (laughs) Oh my god! His bite doesn't have the power to turn you into a vampire. I don't think that's what she was worried about. (laughs) Should we drink for that? Oh, yes! Wait, what's he complaining about? Probably the blood smell. Um, Troy Baker character, mood. He is in the mood. He's always walking around naked. Love it. Doing nothing. Miserable. He's making a popsicle. It's like that lady who froze her period tampons. Uh, oh, disgusting. He looks like he got a cum shot to the face. <laughs> he did. But the thing is, Zero never va- bites a human. That's true. Yeah. He just wants Yuki. And her brother. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I can't blame her. They're yeah. a matched pair. It was like a beast in human form. I can't believe I said that. <laughs> I really don't remember this episode. I don't have any idea what happens with this episode. I hope it's the stairway slap. This bitch always running. How is she yeah. not tired? They don't call you boy genius for nothing. <laughs> fucking win. Look how big that pillow is. I want that pillow. Show yourselves out. Get the fuck out. He's like, no, I simply won't be waking up during the day. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> That's how I stretch. He has a tiny bottom tie compared to everybody else's big ties. <laughs> he does. Oh, he stole her Band-Aid. <laughs> and also... He's, he's like checking out her hickeys. <laughs> so, spill the tea. Having a Band-Aid on your neck is really sus in a vampire universe. Oh, for sure. But he's keeping the secret to himself. He's not letting anyone else know about it. Well, yeah, oh that's God. what a fucking secret is, Yuki. Just what are you to Lord Kaname? That's complicated. <laughs> Uh, I feel like his relationship with Kaname is oh, so complicated. Look at his fucking face. Uh, he's not pleased. Then the best way for you to show your gratitude would be to let him drink every drop of blood your body has to offer. He's like, yeah, go kill yourself. <laughs> that bite mark, it's not his. I should know. I was about to say, I would be aware. <laughs> your body will tremble with ecstasy. <gasps> ecstasy. <laughs> I forgot about his Wattpad fan <laughs> Please stop. Stop, please. <laughs> please stop. <laughs> stop, please. He's like, you can't slap my bitch. Only I can slap my bitch. <laughs> Here we go. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Dick sucking level. I was about to say. So assume the position. <laughs> what is Conway wearing? A pirate shirt. It's his puffy shirt. Hi, Captain. Yuki, you're a warm-hearted girl. And that is something I treasure. His reads are so cardboard. He's like so bizarre to listen to. I want to meet this man. <laughs> I hope he talks like this IRL. <laughs> now then, what if we got a sandwich? <laughs> I want to meet him just to ask him, like, what was the direction you were given? Because <laughs> I do remember, like, watching this for the first time. I started paying attention to, like, when he was talking when there were no lip flaps present. Yeah. I was like, he talks the same. It's not like he's, like... <laughs> Pausing to like match the flaps. No. Like he just does it. It just sounds like this. Her mouth is so small. This is like looking at Teeny me. Mouth. <laughs> Get a bigger mouth. <laughs> Look how little Kaname cares about this. It's like, God. He's like, can you not talk about zero? It's really harsh in my vibe here. He's like, I was really getting worked up after I beat the shit out of Ido a second ago, and you really like 
You're harsh in the vibe. Chilling my boner here. <laughs> Well, wow, this really is like a nothing episode. Yeah, no wonder we forgot about this. Yeah, it's, <laughs> got this, it's got the bitch slap. Nothing that's about has it. happened except for Ido. Yeah. Ido saved this episode. He really is the best character in the yeah. entire thing. <laughs> Whoa, is Troy Baker taller than Kaname? Raw, <laughs> powerful, and he's still not the alpha of the pack. I like what we've been talking this whole time as if everybody should already know the plot twist of this show. We refer we've, to it frequently. We've been like flirting with it like yeah. like implying that there is one and kind of referring to it oh yeah this is when zero was just like suicidal for yeah. a few episodes he was like i should just kill myself and he's like i should get yuki to kill me <laughs> it's because he knows she ain't gonna do it mm. this is how you know he's just depressed and not actually suicidal yeah. he's self-sabotaging we've all been there so yeah. don't worry this is the uh, vampire night universe equivalent of sticking your head really hard into your pillow yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking out into a street, but it's like one of those neighborhood roads that has no cars in it. Yeah. <laughs> Hit me! Hit me with your car! I hate that this show, they do have somewhat complex relationships between the characters because the show doesn't deserve them. No. And it doesn't know what to do with them. It sets up the complex relationship, but then it's like, uh, fuck. Like, well, the problem is it sets up all of these complicated dynamics between the characters and then it just fumbles with them. Like it yeah. just tries to push them back down so it can justify generic teen romance. Yeah. Look at how small she is. She's so fucking tiny. Her head is between his shoulder blades. Men in this world are ginormous. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened to them. You would be like ass level on zero. I literally would be. I'd be at dick level of every human being <laughs> in this universe. I oh, this bitch. About you. I didn't realize they were so like early on. It sucks because this character is like the archetype that I really like to latch on to. But like, they such do a bitch. Anything in this show. They suck. I've sent him to check on things. Oh, this is the cowboy. <gasps> yes. Cowboy Fucking, and coming. Uh, cowboy and coming. Uh, Travis Willingham. Yeah. Travis will liven things back up. 